Should I go to HVAC school or should I get hired on as an HVAC apprentice? People entering the trade question whether they should start their journey out by going to an HVAC trade school or by trying to get hired on with a company as an apprentice. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, the answer to that will differ based on the company that you're trying to get on with and what you want as a future employee. I think after watching this video, you'll have the confidence to start your way into the trades by figuring out this question. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. And also please leave your comments down below and tell us if you went to school or not. If you could, tell us how that went for you so that those who are watching this video can learn from your experiences. Now, my intention for this video is not to suggest whether you should or should not go to trade or vocational school to start learning your trade. There are a lot of viewers who are watching this video in a classroom right now. And really, there's nothing preventing you from doing both. You can never have too much training and education. In fact, my company offers continuous training on a weekly basis new information, best practices, and advanced technology is constantly updating in this field. But if you are watching this video, you've decided that working in an office setting is not for you. You've decided that you want to work in a different setting, one that changes on a daily basis. An HVAC technician that learns installation and service is really diversified and becomes proficient at more than just HVAC skills, but plumbing, gas, electrical, construction, framing, aerodynamics, thermodynamics, roofing, structural engineering, and on and on. Where are you going to learn all of this? Let me tell you a story real quick. I was a mechanic in the Air Force after graduating high school, but I really don't think that that played much of a part in my first company hiring me other than I was manageable. I went to a job fair that they had and listened to their job descriptions and everything that they had to say. I deciphered that they really needed install helpers. So that's what I told them I wanted to do. The next day they called me in for an interview. I went in with a polo shirt, jeans, and some clean black boots and breezed right through an interview that basically was just held to see how I spoke for myself. It was more of a conversation to determine what kind of personality I had. And they hired me with no HVAC knowledge at all. Right away I started learning how to install HVAC equipment, run gas pipes, line sets, handle high and low voltage, frame out a new return can, and how to run ductwork properly, all while getting paid and learning some valuable fundamentals for later on in my career as a service technician. I got some good overtime hours and pretty much doubled my pay within a year. But is it that easy for everyone? It can be. Let's talk about going the apprentice route first. Most local companies in your area provide either residential or commercial HVAC services. Some companies do both. It really seems like companies who value their employees have no problem training them or paying for them to go to training after they're hired. The benefit to you as a person looking to work somewhere is these companies get someone trained up the way they need them to be. It's also more efficient for you because it saves a lot of money and you get trained for the job that you'll be performing. So you get your training in the classroom either at the shop you're working at or the school that they send you to. I found most HVAC company owners that I speak with would much rather take on a new employee who doesn't have any experience but has a great personality than take on a skilled technician who has no class, can't hold a conversation, or has no teamwork mentality. The reason is because they can be trained the way that company wants them to be trained. Bigger companies typically hire more technicians per year than smaller companies. So if you're looking to get on with a company, I tell people to start with the bigger companies around town. Also, February to April, early spring, is the best time to try to get on with these companies because they're looking to ramp up their staff to get ready for the busy summer season. And that's a great way to get on and prove yourself to the company that hires you. But I've heard that some of those big companies will also lay folks off when it slows back down after the summer. And that really saddens me. It's gotta be frustrating for those technicians. But I think everyone makes their own way where they work. My company and the company that I worked at before don't really practice laying people off. Now, some techs might lose some hours because their employer is slow and didn't have the work for them. But either way, when it did slow down, like every HVAC business does during the off season, 
my employer kept me busy because I was out there proving myself worthy of being on the clock every day. Those first couple of years, I was an installer. So working hard, staying busy, and getting the job done in a timely manner was what kept me busy all year. That's what employers like to see. Now let's get on to the facts about trade school. There's no such thing as too much education. Look at the people who check out channels like mine. It's because they're seeking more input about the HVAC field. An apprenticeship that you've been given can be shortened significantly with the degree that you earn at trade school. Completing an organized class dedicated to the HVAC field is a huge help. The teachers of those classes are typically seasoned veterans who have been out there and done that for years. Getting the opportunity to learn from these experts is a great opportunity for you to learn and pick up some really good knowledge. Taking classes after you've been hired on deepens your understanding of the HVAC industry even more. And going to a trade school puts you in a setting unlike a university because you're not sitting in some big lecture hall. Typically, these training centers have air conditioners, furnaces, heat pumps, ductwork, and other HVAC equipment already set up. So you get hands-on training while going to class. It won't be the same intensity as learning it out in the field, but it's a great start. A lot of trade schools have connections with other HVAC companies in your area too, so it's nice to have that in your back pocket as you approach graduation. That's the point of it all anyways, to have a job when you get out of school. At a trade school, you get your degree faster than going to a university, which will likely make you take classes that may not even have much to do with the HVAC field. A trade school can get you in and out in about six months, which means you have a good start to finding your first HVAC job quicker. Once you do have your diploma in hand, it's time to go out and face the music, which is what you could have done rather than going to a school in the first place. And I'm only saying that because the company that gave me a chance literally taught me everything I knew before going out on my own as an HVAC contractor. But if you choose the route of getting hired on as an HVAC apprentice somewhere, or if you graduate school, you still have to go out and find those companies who will hire you. You have to take the steps to go face to face with these companies that you want to work for. Whether you choose to face them with a diploma in your hand or not is up to you. But there are definitely HVAC companies who will hire you right now with no experience. It just depends on where they are and their demand for technicians at the time that you're trying to get on with them. If they're not hiring, they're not hiring. And that has nothing to do with you having a diploma in your hand or wanting to earn your way on with an apprenticeship. I've had to turn down good people just because I didn't have room on my team at that time. Find some companies in your area that have a good reputation. You can find them by looking at their reviews online. Try these companies first because they're obviously doing something right. They obviously take pride in their company's practices, so they very likely care about their employees. I wanted a real job, and being an HVAC technician has been the avenue which has gotten me to where I am today. A husband, father, homeowner, and someone who can afford to go out and do the things that I want with my free time. I'm able to save money for retirement and take care of my medical needs with the insurance that I've been provided. It's a long way from the previous job I had, which really didn't offer these extras that a real job provides. Well, hopefully this has helped you on your way to deciding whether you want to go to a trade school or to try to go straight for an apprenticeship with your local company. Please leave some comments down below if you went to school or not, and tell us how that went for you so that those who are watching this video can learn from your experiences. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down below here in the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.